hello youtube thank you so much for coming back to my channel it's your girl kimberly make sure you subscribe to the channel that way you won't miss out on any of the great videos that i make we have beauty hair tech travel makeup skincare um my two cents some hot topics but not too much so if you want to know all the great things that are happening over here make sure you subscribe also like this video if you like this video so that way i know to make more like it and jump down in the comment section below with your two cents so that way i know how you feeling what's going on with you you know all right so in this video we are going to talk about the top 10 products this has been a trend with me because i've been thinking of all the brands and all the different things that i've bought with my money that i love and i'm like let me make a little guide so that way if somebody's searching for the brand they could just know the top 10 things from this brand that they should get and today we are starting with auntie well we're not starting we're going with we're, we're going through we're going to talk about mother pat mcgrath Pat McGrath. You see how I put that F in there? Because you respect on her name, McGrath. Let me say Pat McGrath. <laughs> Let me say it correctly. Her makeup is absolutely phenomenal. Now, I know that if you are familiar with her brand, you're probably like, girl, and it's also a lot of money. But I personally think that there are a lot of items that are worth the money. They look really great. She is a professional makeup artist. So this is like performance makeup. Like, I'm wearing her eyeshadow palette now. I'm on video number umpteenth. And it's still giving the same exact color style set up that I did. Um, she has a lot of great products. There are some things that I use from her that I honestly am only using the ones from other brands till I finish them because I'm mad I bought them because I only want to use her brand because it is so great. It performs every time how you want it, when you want it, no issues. And it's a phenomenal makeup brand. So you get what you pay for and it's worth every penny. So let's go through the top 10 things from Pat McGrath. Number 10, Sublime Perfection Setting Powder. It is such a finely milled, lightweight, lifelike looking powder. I have oily skin, so once I put it on, it like melds with the heat and the oil and everything that's already on my face. And then it just looks natural and beautiful and it doesn't look cakey or powdery at all. I don't look dry, I don't look baked but I look like I'm just a less shiny version of my beautiful skin and I love that. So one of the best powders, unfortunately there's not that many different shades. So it is a little more difficult trying to get the shade that's right for you, but um, it's a great powder, great, great powder. Number nine, Skin Fetish, Skin Fetish Divine Blush. Um, I have my little handy dandy notebook here so I could keep up with my notes. Um, the blushes from pat mcgrath pack so much color it's like nars times two like you put it on and it's automatically like whoo, color and it looks gorgeous and somehow there are a few shades that are like pale pinks that don't look good on darker deep skin tones but after you pass that one pale shade all the rest of the shades look fabulous on all skin tones and colors and i'm just like how did that work like it shouldn't this should be too dark for her and this should be too light for her but it somehow looks gorgeous on everybody and i really love that about her blushes um especially since they're like more traditional kind of colors so you're gonna get that wear out of them no matter what kind of look you're trying to do very universal very because she is a makeup artist for like high fashion it's very much like the this is your kit of the things that you're going to need to create any kind of look and the blushes really speak to that number eight lust gloss the lust gloss are really pigmented they're not sticky they're not goopy um they feel really good they're a plethora of colors they have enough pigment in them that even if you have deeper or darker colored lips that when you put them on you're still going to see that color payoff um it's a great lip gloss uh not my it's a little drying when you wipe them off so it's not the most moisturizing post lip gloss removal which is why they're not like my number one high-end gloss but it's a really great lip gloss number seven intensifies artistry wand now some of you might not even know what i'm talking about but pat mcgrath has this wand and it's basically i wish i knew where mine was on my makeup table but it's basically this kind of primer vaseline solid gel almost like a 
eyelid deodorant and you put it on your eyes and when you put the eyeshadow on top it intensifies the color it makes the glitters brighter and bolder and if you have a darker color it makes it deeper and richer and you can put it on top of eyeshadow or you can use it as like a base and then put the eyeshadow on top it basically makes you gives you the ability to make even more cool artistic in-depth eyeshadow looks with the same eyeshadow palettes that you already have it works for her shadows and for other brands it is a phenomenal little tool that i love especially when i'm trying to do going out over the top like or halloween or some kind of crazy makeup it's really really great for that so that is one of my favorites and i also have never seen any other brand with something like it i know you could take matte mixing medium and try to like pack it on with like an eyeshadow brush but because this is already in the wand it just makes it so much easier to apply um, number six, Fetish Eyes Mascara. Um, all of her mascaras are good, but that's just my favorite one. Um, I think it looks really, really great. Uh, especially because I'm looking for length and volume when I wear mascara. Because I'm trying to stay away from the falsy life. And because I already messed up my lashes with the individuals. So I'm like, I need a mascara that's really going to like separate and make them longer and it's one of the perfect mascaras it lasts all day it never gets crunchy your lashes feel touchably soft after you apply it and hours after and you never get the little raccoony look so it's a great great mascara number five lip fetish balm divinal lip shines so these are like the shiniest lipsticks that you'll ever see the shades are perfectly beautiful it looks great on everybody um, unfortunately they're they're $36 but they're so cute it's gonna be uber beautiful when you wear them they remind me of like YSL lipsticks it's really saturating your lips with moisture and color at the same time and they're super wearable and it just looks beautiful when I wear the lip divinal um, what's the real name lip fetish balm divinal lip shines I get the most compliments on any that is this right after Fenty Uncensored that is the most complimented lip product that I've ever bought. It's just like, it looks so, you get such a pouty, beautiful look no matter what color. Those are phenomenal. Um, number four, Mothership Nine Utopian Dream. <sighs> All of the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes are amazing, but there's some that I just be wearing them out and I'm about to hit pan. And that is one of them. I love the different shades and the glitters and the two tones, the coarse glitters versus the more finely milled glitters, the matte shades. Utopian Dream, I've been wearing it to the ground. That's been one of my go-tos. Like every time I travel, I have that palette with me because it's just, you can make so many different looks, whether it's like a simple day look or you want an over-the-top evening in-your-face kind of eyeshadow look. And to have one palette that's doing both is killing the game for me. Number three is Mothership. Eight divine rose two i'm scared that like something's gonna happen to that palette and i just feel like i should be stockpiling them in my basement there it is phenomenal there's one shade that's like a chrome duo chrome at the same time and it's like sometimes it looks green and purple and other times it looks like blue and silverish and it's like no matter which way you look you get a different kind of color the way people look like the angle you're looking at it so when you wear it people are always just like what eyeshadow is that like it looks different every time you turn your head and it looks so cool and I really love it but um that is my favorite 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 eyeshadow palette from Pat McGrath if you're only going to get one divine rose two that's it you don't need any other palette skin oh number two is the skin fetish the blind perfection foundation <sighs> The goal of foundation for me is to have a product that's going to make me look like my I have beautiful skin and not beautiful makeup. And I feel like the Sublime Skin Perfection Foundation really does that. Um, when you put it on, I just put it on with a um, dual fiber brush and it looks like I did like a makeup artist application like where I patted it and did powder and all these different layers. and did all these different techniques to my skin but all I did was just buff it in like a regular foundation and it looks so lifelike it looks bendable when you smile and don't smile smile and don't smile you don't get the marionette creases around your mouth um the color is saturated so it's very easy to get a full coverage look but it looks very beautiful when it's just the medium coverage look 
um it is one of the best foundations if you ever look when she's like when one of her artists are like key for makeup found for a fashion show or when they do a celebrity makeup um a lot of times they do cardi b's makeup the person just looks beautiful like themselves and they don't look cake face and i love that about the foundation and that brings me to the number one product i don't even know if y'all can hear that but the number one is the skin fetish sublime perfection concealer that is the end all be all of concealers for me there's probably two or three other concealers that could stand next to her but that is the best high-end concealer hands down um there are probably some new girlies that i haven't tried yet that people might try to claim are better or comparable but i'm not convinced it's not charlotte tilbury uh maybe it's who is it makeup by mario a lot of people like but even that Pat McGrath concealer looks gorgeous and it does not budge. I use it not only for eyeshadow or primer, but I also use it for under eye. I have one Huda Beauty today, but that's something else. But it is so smooth and soft feeling and I have creasy eyes and it doesn't crease that crazy. Um, under eye doesn't crease on the lid. Sometimes if I don't powder it, it'll crease. But it is a really livable, lifelike concealer and that's what i want from concealer oh concealer is just like foundation i want it to look like my skin just brighter and cover up some of the dark spots and the hyperpigmentation so a phenomenal easy to blend easy to wear gorgeous looking concealer the best high-end concealer i'm gonna stand on that um and one of the best products from pat mcgrath um so that's it so that's my top 10 for pat mcgrath she does have a lot of other products um, but those are really my favorites. She had a powder highlighter that if it was still available for sale would have made this list. But unfortunately it was a promo um, a short seasonal kind of item. But um, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.